Hello friends, today we are going to be working with CorelDRAW. CorelDRAW is basically a graphic vector based software that allows you to do print design, uh, print designing. And in this, uh, apart from creating logos and really stunning artworks, you can e uh, even basically work with, uh, uh, by, by, you, can, you can create brochures, catalogs, and uh, other kind of print related material, which uh, need page orientation. So uh, let's see what, uh, uh, how this works. Now, as you can see over here, let's create a new page. Okay. By default, this is how it will open. So it will open with untitled. You can rename it at test. This will always be custom or you can put it as coral draw default. As I said, this is a page oriented software. So you can even add the number of pages that you want to open with. And primary color mode in printing is always CMYK that is CN, magenta, yellow and black. K is black. And uh, you can also, this also allows you to take that same design right into digital media also. Let's say if it's a logo or something like that, or even a brochure that you want to put online. So you can work with RGB format and change it. So that is what it is. So this will also change because it will immediately see RGB. Now, as we are doing a print layout, so A4 is what is the most basic print size. And uh, by default, it will give you the uh, unit of measurement in millimeters. You can again change it to whatever you feel like inches. And even for, you know, big artworks like banners and things like that, you can actually go on to feet and meters so that's about that that is it and as you can see by default these measurements will come as perfectly as the a4 size and then you can flip it over and this is how it works and as we are doing working on it's a it's a print related software so your resolution also will always be at 300 dpi you can even as you keep going lower for a test output or something like that if you want to send to a client you can work with 100 or 96 and for web you can work with 72 and now let's see how this so this is how the workspace of coral draw looks and that's about it further we shall learn in the next video